Hello, Merry Christmas week everybody. I just have a very small tiny haul for you. I wanted to tell you about a few things. Um, at work, um, people are getting bonuses for the first time in many years. Uh, a new company bought us out this year and so they are giving Christmas bonuses which unfortunately I didn't get one. I was so unhappy. Um, you had to be a full-time employee by August 31st in order to get your Christmas bonus. I was working there since the beginning of July, no, June, the beginning of June, but I was working through a temporary agency until um, I was hired on full-time with the company uh, September 29th. So I didn't get a Christmas bonus, but in lieu of that, they gave everybody what is called 50 Mitchell Bucks. And I live in Mitchell, South Dakota. And they are to be used at any Mitchell business that takes them, um, which 99% of the businesses in town here take them, I believe. Um, for, um, anyway, they're, they're just like cash. They're, they come in $5 increments. And, um, woo, get out of there. And you do get, well, Buddy wants what's in that box. <laughs> anyway, um, you get what uh, amounts to $50 worth of cash, which was awesome. So I went and did a little shopping. Um, and I just went to the, our local bookstore. They were having, um, they, they had said that they had all kinds of, of, um, I have ghosts in here or something. <laughs> but they said that they had all kinds of uh, coloring, adult coloring books. And oh my God, they had tons of adult coloring books. Um, but, you know, the, the really nice ones were like $15, $16. I am not paying that for a coloring book. I'm sorry. I just think that's ridiculous. But I did get find a few that I liked. And um, I spent $30. So I still have $20 left. Um, I know you guys probably think that's a silly thing, but I don't get anything for Christmas. Um, my son and daughter-in-law usually give me a school picture of my granddaughter and a picture of my grandson. That's what I get for Christmas. And um, my mother will give me a little bit of money um, probably enough to get my nails done or something, but that's all I get for Christmas. So I bought myself Christmas present. You know, um, selfish, I know. I should have bought something for my grandkids or something, you know, but um, they're spoiled enough and I have plenty for them already. So I bought something for myself. So anyway, the first one is Everyone Loves Coloring Patterns. And this is kind of this kind of stuff that I like. Um, okay, let's see here. One that ones that are are um, like this that you know I can use different colors on. You know I like that kind of stuff. And I like the ones that are one sided because if they bleed through, if I use markers or something that would happen to bleed through. Um, oh, I like this one. Okay. All right, that's the first one, and that's the patterns one. The next one is Everyone Loves Coloring Mandelas, and I do, I love mandelas because I'll show you what I mean. Now, see, um, you know, you can make such pretty colors with this stuff. This is a beautiful book. I like this one a lot. These books, by the way, were each $7.99. And $8 for a coloring book I still think is outrageous, but it's something that I'll spend. I've already started on the first one here. This is what I've done so far. And I am using, what am I using? I am using gel pens. And that is my favorite medium. Um, 
I like the metallic and the glitter and the, you know, I they just, the gel pens just glide so easy and they cover so well. Can you see the shiny or where you can see the glitter or the, you know. But I kind of go, um, I, I pick my color scheme. Like this one here, I picked um, pinks to reds. Um, I've got some blues to purples in here and even a few orange mixed in. Um, I pick my color scheme and then I kind of line them, line all my pens out what I want on my computer desk or whatever. Um, I separate, you know, because um, I don't want two blues together. I don't want two pinks together. You know what I mean? So, and then I just go one after the other and do whatever I'm doing. Like I started with, the things that I started with was this orange. That's the was my first color. That's what I started with. And then my next color was this one, which I took that color out of the rotation because that's too dark. I don't like really dark stuff. Then I went with this purple. Then I went with the pink. I did all of those things. And then I went and did the the pink here, the, the little leaf off of it in there and there. I do one thing at a time. And then I go and I start something new. And I do that at a time. The last things I did on here were... Um, these heart type deals and I did all of the orange first and then I did all the pink and then I went on to my next one here so that's how I do that I'm, I'm not a good colorer I don't you know so many of these colors that you see on TV or I'm not on TV on Facebook or that um, on YouTube do all this shading and all this, you know, they'll use four different colors for one little leaf or something. I don't do that. I you I do this for relaxation, to focus my mind, and to calm my mind. Because I suffer from depression, which you guys know, and I suffer from anxiety. Um, so this focus makes me focus and makes me calm. So that's why I color. If you guys think it's childish, I'm sorry. I'm doing it for my mental health. And it helps me. And as you know, this month is so hard for me. And I have suffered deeply this month. Um, I never, I've never gotten bad enough where I've wanted to self-harm myself. I take that back. I, I don't hurt myself physically. Let's put it that way. But I, I hurt myself so badly mentally. I, um, if you guys could see my house, I don't clean. I don't put stuff away. I, when I'm in this state, I don't do that. Um, I need, um, I wish I could get somebody in here to help me clean, but I can't afford it. And I wouldn't know where to start. Um, anyway, I'm getting off track. I don't want to get into the depression because I'm in a pretty good mood today. So I, let's show you the rest of my coloring books. This one is Designing Colors, Mindful Color, Coloring Fun for Everyone. And this is 39 Beautiful Patterns. This is also $7.99. And here it shows kind of on the back a couple of patterns and tells you, um, it says, color your way to a calmer life. Take a healthy time out from your busy day to unlock your creativity and focus your mind. 39 beautiful images await you. Let your inner artist make them uniquely your own. The pages are perforated so you can easily remove them. Mo remove your artwork to display it or save it in a special scrapbook or portfolio, which I might do something like that. Um, there's another Mandela. These are... These must be mostly Mandela's. Look at that one. So pretty. I love this stuff. See, I don't like the, um, oh, like scenery ones or that. I like stuff like this that really comes to life um, with a pen or a, a colored pencil or a marker or a crayon. That kind of stuff. 
Okay, my last one that I got, I got four of them. This one also was $7.99. So I thought one I got was $5.99, but I guess maybe I put that one back. I had several that I really wanted, and I put them back. This is $7.99. Yep, they're all $7.99. Okay, so this one here is Living Color, Quality Coloring for Adults, a beautiful a bouquet of beautiful images for you to color. And this one has more flowery images. Like, I've never tried a face yet. But look at... Can you imagine um, the colors you could use doing this stuff? To bring those flowers to life? I hope I'm not boring you guys with this kind of stuff. Tell me if any of you color if you if, if any of you have started this coloring craze now I just probably not even a month ago started this um, and I have quite a, a few, few weeks ago I showed you that DIY that I got from the Dollar Tree and this is it this is I, I just took duct tape this is just a, like a kitchen container thing and I took duct tape and I went all the way around it to cover the holes that were in here so um, nothing would fall through it's got a handle but this is what I use these are all colors over here um, they came in a little case which I may put them back in the case so I have more room for my pencils and stuff these are Martha Stewart markers which I love those um, these are uh, Crayola um, twistable markers. No, they're they're color colored pencils. Um, I have some like this, the um, Sharpies. I have some like this. These are Fiskars, which these are erasable markers. I have just I have four of these. These are expensive. These are Art and Graphic Twin. Um, I will show you that. One side is a marker like this with the sharp end there. The other side is a more precise. And I don't use them as much because I don't want to use them up. It's kind of weird. And then I have a few that are like gold pens. Um, like this here I think I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, gold and silver and stuff like that. Um, I've got a couple uh, sharpeners in there for my colors and my colored pencils. Um, I don't have any of my colored pencils in here. I don't know what I did with them, actually. They're in a, another case. In here, I have... These are my gel pens. And you can tell how much I've used. They go pretty fast. I'm going to need to replace them soon. I have a couple of these Crayola um, twistable uh, colored pencils in here again, but these are um, duplicates for the ones that are in here. So I don't want, you know, I don't need the duplicate ones and they're taking up space. But I absolutely, these are my favorite, these um, gel pencils. And this is what I was talking about when I, I get my color scheme, see, my color scheme, and I put them, this was my Martha Stewart case that those Martha Stewart markers came in. Um, I line them all up like this, and then I will use them one after another. You know, I don't use, you know, I'll use this on one thing, I'll finish that, then I'll go on to the next color. And that's, those are the colors that I, I am using on this. That's my color scheme right there. Um, I do have some colored pencils in here. These are artist color pencils and watercolor pencils. And they're different pencils. I don't use pen water or um, the pencils that often. Um, I would rather, if I'm going to use colored pencils, I would rather use the Crayola, really. So, if you have any questions about my coloring or my pencils or anything like that, please ask. I would love your opinions and your suggestions and your um, 
a better way to carry my pencils, a better way to store my pencils that are easy, easy access. That's why I did this. These are so easy. I mean, you see a color you want, all you got to do is pull it out. You don't have to search in this, this um, thing or another thing like that or whatever, you know, for what you're looking for. Um, but I'm, I'm in love with coloring. Anyway, I have one more thing to show you. I got a pinch me box and I got two things in this pinch me box and one he has already eaten. <laughs> um, he was just in here just sniffing around in here so I suppose this will be his lunch today. Um, with this I got as always a hundred dollar wine voucher which I will never use and their wine costs about a hundred dollars so um, I, I think this is silly. Okay, the next thing is um, extraordinary nutrition and exceptional taste in all new mealtime experience. And this is the Pro, Pro Plan Savor Shredded Blend. And that is what this is. Let's see here. That is what that is. That's what I got. This is Savor Shredded Blend crunchy kibble and tender meaty pieces chicken and rice formula and that's a good size sample um, I got that in my pinch me box and then I got a can a little can of stuff and he he is so funny because he will not eat the meat he but he loves the gravy that is in those cans and he will lick the meat completely dry and not touch the meat but he loves the gravy so I get him every once in a while. I'll get him. I can get cans from work. Um, sometimes that are give you know they'll give us some. So I take those and I give them those you know and then I throw away the meat and I you know just for the gravy. I wish that they'd just have a a can of gravy because he would love that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next videos. If you like stuff like this. Um, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and I hope you have the merriest of Christmases and Happy New Year and I will talk to you very soon. I love you guys. Bye-bye.